What is up, TCG Army? C Money TCG here. Happy freaking Saturday. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. As promised today, we have a fat, fat, big burning shadows opening. I apparently love disappointment, sadness, and heartbreak, which is what this set has always brought to this channel. So uh, we are going on a giant rainbow fire lizard hunt with the Burning Shadows blisters. Uh, we got these from the GameStop Pro Day sale, which was last weekend. Um, Burning Shadows has not been kind to this channel, but it is a big fan favorite set. I always joke because the quality is absolutely atrocious, but it does have a chance for such an expensive and arguably more rare Charizard than the shiny one that we've pulled three times. So uh, we do own that Charizard. It's in terrible condition like all other Burning Shadows cards, but we're going to go for it because the PSA 10 is like three thousand dollars or something stupid like that because there's so few of them out there so we're going to go for a big rainbow fire lizard to make it all the better we've got some cosmic eclipse and a hidden fates 10 to go in today's big opening because you guys know we like to go big on the weekends around this channel um so without further ado let's get into it um if you guys did miss yesterday's opening um if there are any Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there uh, yesterday's opening was for you for the first and probably only time on the channel we opened up a bunch of toon chaos Yu-Gi-Oh cards which was actually a ton of fun i really enjoyed it however um ooh, white coat on the first pack all right uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, we're probably not going to do like Toon Chaos. These are actually in fantastic shape. Please don't let me waste a fantastic shape burning shadows on like a regular hollow. Because these are actually look great. Um, but we did do Yu-Gi-Oh! yesterday. It was a lot of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, it's not going to be something we do a lot. But hey, a Noivern GX. So nothing too crazy. It's very off cut on the front. But there's actually a very good condition Burning Shadows card. Like, it looks like a normal card. Which is very unusual for Burning Shadows. So I will definitely take a hit on our first pack for sure. I'm not complaining about that in the least bit. So hopefully we have a good run of these then. Hopefully these will all look nice. We do have like 16 of them, I believe, um, today. So we do have a lot of these. We'll kind of halfway through, we'll stop and do some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, honestly, these look okay. Like, that's uh, these are a little rough cut, but for the most part, I well, know the rare looks pretty bad. And anyway, we'll see. Um, maybe we got lucky and got a good print run of these. Um, these are all loose blisters from GameStop. Now like I said they did have reverse rare Malamar and a Weavile. They did have their pro day sale, so packs were like three bucks. Um, so I did try to get some unbroken bonds, but they were out of all those. So I was like, you know what? Let's just grab a whole bunch of burning shadows. So that's what we did. They actually had a ton of them online, which was rather surprising to me. So uh, I went in and grabbed a bunch of them. Now this one looks. Okay, it's not perfect, but it looks okay for the rare. Let's see if we can instead of have some good luck here. We have a nice print run, it seems, which is way more than I was expecting. So I am extremely happy about that. A Dust Skull and a Holographic Kingdra. Sad the good condition is not anything nuts. So we do have a chance for that very expensive Rainbow Charizard today. Not quite as expensive as the Shiny. If you guys haven't seen anything... Lately, literally the shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates is going for like 600 bucks right now. So, yeah, if you haven't gotten a shiny Charizard yet, I am so sorry. Because if you're looking to buy one, like, prices are insane right now. Um, they might see a correction here when people, like, I know, like, with the pandemic still kind of picking up and stuff, maybe things will start slowing down at some point. With the market, like, it may see a little bit of a correction, but, man, is that thing, like, it does not, it just keeps going up. Like, I thought it was going to cap at, like, 400, 450. I literally have seen multiple, multiple, multiple sell for 600 now. It's absurd. So, if you haven't gotten your shiny Charizard, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I hope you're able to pull it. These actually look really good for Burning Shadows. Like, they're not perfect, but they look really good for Burning Shadows. So I'm not complaining about that in the least bit. Looks like we actually got lucky with that. So hopefully we can pull something awesome. Hopefully today will be the day we pull that Rainbow Charizard. Let's jump into a couple Cosmic Eclipse. Um, we hit a little bit of a dry spell 
with that. So let's grab a couple Cosmic Eclipse and see if we can't pull anything out of that. We're still looking for that Rainbow uh, Charizard Breaks in, so another Rainbow Fire Lizard. So <laughs> hopefully we can get, usually we're looking for Shiny Charizard on this channel. We are looking for Rainbow Charizards today. Ducklet, Beastite, and a Reshiram and Zekrom. Very, I love this card, man. I really do. This is such a cool card. I love that GX out of Cosmic Eclipse. I've said it multiple times. I just love Cosmic Eclipse. This is a very cool card. I will gladly, gladly take that. So there we go. Nice little pull out of Cosmic Eclipse to offset kind of the luck. The little dry spell we got with the Burning Shadows. Let's do one more Cosmic. Then we'll jump back into our Burning Shadows. We got a bunch of Burning Shadows for you today. Um, a lot of stuff in general today. So some exciting news that I want to let you guys in on. Um, we are finalizing a lot of the details. Um, coming in the next two to three weeks, Reverse Black, Kyurem, and Entei. Coming in the next two to three weeks, my friend Austin, the Bearded Trainer, the Bearded Trainer 2, is, and I are considering, we're calling it a podcast, but it's going to be more of a talk show. So I think it's probably going to be on Fridays. Is going to take the place of like our Friday videos. We are going to start a collector's podcast or collector's talk show, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be on YouTube. We're going to start off kind of doing it on both our channels. And then we may start kind of rotating channels once we've established it a little bit. So uh, exciting things for that. I am really personally excited for it. Mars Shadow GX, absolutely horribly cut, but at least it's not cut. Like, I mean, at least the edges aren't bad, but that is some off-cut. Holy crap, that is, like, very poorly cut. But we'll take the GX. We're actually having decent pulls, but the cuts are still bad, but at least they're not, like, I don't know. I've seen Burning Shadows look worse than that. But back to the podcast slash talk show. I don't know what we're going to call it. Um, we are working on names. If you guys have any awesome name ideas, like, relevant to the hobby, let us know. Um, it's going to be a collector's talk show. It's going to be like, we're going to talk about values, the market, like what's kind of going on with prices and stuff, uh, right now in the Pokemon world. Um, what are good investments to make from a card standpoint? Um, like if you've seen like loot box recently did a video about like the top 10 cards, not named Charizard, the modern cards to invest in right now. And, uh, if you've seen any of like the shadowless podcast that real breaking Nate and Jordan fringe do, that's a beautiful dark rye art and a holographic palace. And I really do love the star cry, but if you've seen any of those, like kind of podcast talk show type things, that's going to be kind of the style. We're not going to be copying them by, or anything like that, but it's going to be like, purely for the collector so if you're into like collecting the market buy sell trade like investments stuff like that that is what we're doing with this um i'm really excited about it i kind of approach i've had this idea for a while to do this like a good while i've wanted to do this but i kind of approached him with the idea this week and uh, he said he was in so uh, we're working on a name and finalizing the details it's probably going to be like us getting in a zoom call so you'll see us both on zoom if we need to pull up like ebay or websites or anything we can um you know but we're just gonna talk it's gonna be you know anywhere from like 10 to 30 minutes uh probably on the weekends it's gonna be a once a week thing it's gonna take the place of one of the weekly pack openings but i promise we'll make it entertaining and worth it for you and i think it'll be very interesting i think it'll be something that you guys will like i hope I'm really excited about it. Like I said, it's been something that I have wanted to do for a very long time. So uh, I'm excited to, I love talking about that stuff. Anyone who knows me, if you're in my Discord or if you've messaged me on Twitter, Instagram, whatever it may be, you know I love talking about this stuff. I love talking about the hobby. I love talking about like purchases and if something's a good buy, a bad buy, like what PSA cards are awesome. Let's get some Cosmic Eclipse. Like, I love talking about that stuff and just the hobby in general. It's something I'm passionate about. So uh, to do, like, kind of a talk show style thing is something that it, I'm very excited to do. So I, I hope you guys will be excited for that, too. Like that it will probably start in the next couple weeks. We have to get kind of details ironed out and stuff like that. But I'm very excited about it. I hope that you guys will be excited for it, too, and join in on that ride with us. A Groudon and a Blastoise and Piplup GX. A nice GX pool there. I do enjoy this card. Very cool card. I love the Ultra Rare. I think I might like the Ultra Rare more than the Alternate Art on this one. I usually like the All Arts better, but I think with this particular card, I might like the uh, just regular Ultra Rare more. Very cool card. 
Very cool ultra rare. Um, let's do our last Cosmic Eclipse pack since we're on that. But yeah, so uh, podcast slash talk so coming soon. Um, like I said, me and the Bearded Trainer, uh, we'll start having his link in the descriptions as well. Make sure you subscribe to him. Like I said, it'll start out with the with it on both of our channels, and then we might end up kind of like bouncing it back and forth between the two. So make sure you are sub to both of us. So uh, it'll be a good time. I hope you guys are excited and a holographic decidui to finish off our Cosmic Eclipse for the day. So uh, back into the Burning Shadows. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Burning Shadows left and a Hidden Fates 10. So we'll probably do like three or four of these. Bust open the Hidden Fates 10 and see. And then finish off with more Burning Shadows because I promise y'all a big Burning Shadows opening day. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are new here, my name's Colin. I also go by C Money, C Money TCG here on YouTube. Uh, I'm currently bringing you guys openings like mail days, PSA returns, all that, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We are uh, just hit the 500 sub mark and are uh, a small channel growing here. I love the support of the TCG Army. You guys have been absolutely amazing, so thank you so much for joining me on this wild ride. If you are new here, I'd love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on the bell so you don't miss any awesome openings like this one. Uh, I try to do really fun openings for you guys, keep things interesting and entertaining so uh, i would love for you to join this community of collectors we've got a sub discord below if you're ever interested in you know joining the discord talking and buy sell trade promote yourself if you're a creator all kinds of stuff in there so yeah rip fairy energy for the first time today i think unless i've missed one while i was talking but yeah so things to get excited about guys i hope you guys will look forward to that talk show with me um and the bearded trainer we're excited about it um i said we this literally took place like yesterday of me filming it uh, i pitched the idea to him he said he liked it so we're gonna go in on it um something that like i said we're both pretty passionate about the hobby and collecting and stuff so um yeah what is this? it's kind of weird i don't think i've seen that like i don't know what's in these oh it just says sm3 oh that's kind of cool i haven't seen the inside of a blister like that before Sorry, I'm over here chasing rabbits, but... Alright, we've hit a little bit of a dry spell. So let's see if we can't turn things around here. Let's see if we can't turn things around here. We had a nicked up rare, but that's okay. Hopefully it'll be something awesome for us. Alright, we got a lightning injury, a Simpor, Rotom Dex. I think we got something. I see a little little glimmer out of the side of this pack. We got a Sock, a Noibat, Stuffle... Oddish and a Tapu Fini GX. Nice ultra rare pool. Nice little two, three dollar ultra rare. We're nailing it with the ultra rares today, guys. We haven't really had much else other than ultra rares, but we are killing it with the ultra rares today. So, uh, I mean, not bad. I mean, you can see all our pools here. We're we are knocking out of the park with ultra rares. So, we've got four burning shadows. I'm going to do one more, then we'll dig into this hidden fates 10, and, uh, and then we'll finish off with some more burning shadows. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let's see if we can get this video to like 25 likes, guys. That'd be amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying the Burning Shadows as we go chasing for little rainbow Charizard action. We don't do that a ton around here. Burning Shadows is getting harder to get your hands on. I actually have a sealed booster box over there on my shelf. But I'm probably going to keep that guy sealed. Um, but uh, it is getting harder and harder to find. So if you want some Burning Shadows... I highly recommend you try to get it now because prices is completely out of print. Prices are about to start skyrocketing like crazy on it. Let's jump into this Hidden Fates 10. So, uh, like, stuff like that. Like, we're going to talk about things like good pickups like that. Like, right now would be a good time to go buy Burning Shadows and keep it sealed. Um, not do what I'm doing and, like, opening it all. Um, but, uh... Like the podcast slash talk show, I don't know what we're gonna call it, but it'll it'll be stuff like that. So, uh, you know, we'll pull out some PSA cards, and uh, Bearded Trainer actually does PSA grading for people. So if you want to get anything graded, we can talk about that process a little bit, like kind of what the grading process looks like. If anyone's interested in that kind of stuff, so it's gonna be fun, man. I'm ex I'm excited for it. Um, I think you guys will really enjoy it. So we'll try to make it very entertaining for you guys and also very informative for you all right so this is hidden fates we're gonna open up four of these guys four packs of these guys a full 10 see if we can't get some fire we do get an onyx gx and uh that first pack not bad not bad but not 
anything too crazy. Nice little Onyx GX. We'll sleeve this guy up here. So we are killing it with the Ultra Rares today, guys. We are killing it with the Ultra Rares, but <laughs> that's nothing above an Ultra Rare so far. But hopefully we can turn that around with the Hidden Fates 10 here in these last few Burning Shadows packs. But we are, we are definitely killing it with the Ultra Rares. Um, let's see if we can't get a Full Art Shiny, though, to go with all these Ultra Rares. See if we can't get a nice shiny full art of something. It'd be really cool to get a Zard as we're sitting here talking about the Zard going for 600 bucks. Shiny Magnemite and a holographic Vaporeon. So we do get a little baby shiny there. We got two more Hidden Fates packs. Zed, I would absolutely love to get a full art shiny. How sick would it be to get another Zard though? Like we've pulled three on the channel. Can we get a fourth before Hidden Fates is gone forever? Hidden Fates, if you guys can find the Hidden Fates tins, like Target is restocking them online every so often in stores. Like if you can go get the Walmart boxes, go get them now. Leave them sealed. Don't do what I'm doing. I, I'm opening them up for you guys. But um, if you can get your hands on the Hidden Fates, do that now. Because prices, like if you look online on eBay, they're going up like very much. So if you can find them for retail or even like 30 bucks or something like that, grab them because it, it's going up. Um, so the prices of the cards, like I so said, the Charizard is like 600. The Umbreon is like at 80. The Evolutions, like their prices are going up on Hidden Fates. So make sure you can grab it while you can. This is the last pack in this tin. See if we can't get something awesome that's been a little bit of a dud of a tin up to this point. Psyduck, Reverse Koga's Trap, and a Weezing. So all we do get, I guess we got an Onyx and a Shiny Magnemite. So, but nothing too crazy out of that tin there. So we got three more Burning Shadows packs. So I would love to at least pull a full art to go with our slew of Ultra Rares today. The pools have been plentiful. We cannot complain about the sheer amounts of pools as I cannot dig into this blister at all right now. Uh, we cannot complain about the pools at all because we've we've done good on the pools so far. Lots and lots of ultra rares. So let's see if we can't finish it off with like a four or something. A little off cut here, but the back isn't too beat up, so that's good. All right, we got Whirlipede, Chiboy Guzma, Meryl, Pansage, Esper. Oh, I'm sitting here. I just pulled so many cards off the top of that. I don't know how I grabbed that many. Reverse Rare Darkrai. <laughs> no, Darkrai GX. Very nice. Is it weird that I like the art of the Reverse Rare Darkrai more than the Darkrai GX? Like, this art is sick. Like, I'm a big fan of the Reverse Rare art of the Darkrai. But we do get the double Darkrai hit there. Another nice Ultra Rare to add to our... Like, we are actually killing it. Like, Burning Shadows notoriously has some rough hit rates. So we are actually, like, freaking killing it with the hits today. So we had 16 Burning Shadows packs. So out of Burning Shadows, we've one, two, three, four, five Ultra Rare hits so far. Um, so that's very solid. Very solid out of Burning Shadows. And I will gladly take that. So let's see if we can't get some more fire. Um, if you guys follow Danny Phantom at all, he's on Instagram. I think he just hit like 5,000 subs or uh, sorry, followers on Instagram. Great guy. He sells me a ton of cards and stuff. He's a dealer or a distributor. Um, he, I watched him open up a Burning Shadows box a couple weeks ago. He pulled two two rainbow charizards out of the same burning shadows box and it, it wasn't stage it was completely sealed oh escape rope secret rare let's go so there we go we get a secret rare escape rope to go with all our ultra rare hits that is fantastic a great great pool see now this one is beat to crap like this one is the notorious of course the like nicest card we pull is the one with, like the rough cut edges and everything this is what burning shadows is notorious for is this stuff you can kind of see they call this a rough cut right see how it's all kind of just beat up along the edges like that this is what burning shadows is notorious for and of course it's on the rarest card that we pulled today but i will take that we did get a secret rare out of these blisters did i like drop i think i dropped the sleeve that i grabbed but very very nice pull i will gladly take that I do find it funny that the best card we pull all day is the one that's beat up. But uh, very cool. I'll gladly, gladly take that. Our, gosh, we're killing it today, guys. We really are. So this is one more pack. Um, I'm 
considering doing more depending what we get out of this pack uh i'm kind of feeling it today you know i'm feeling we got the luck going there's the sleeve we dropped we got the luck going today oh, I, we're on a roll i don't really like to stop but we're killing it maybe i should stop while we're ahead but uh we might do one more thing after this um we'll see let's see what we get out of this last pack that i am failing at opening here let's see what we get do we cool off or do we keep the streak going with these burning shadows packs man this is nice we're we're killing it today guys rip fairy energy super scoop up plumeria cedra we got dupider we got tangla rhyhorn we got a riolu cutie fly panseer and a butterfree but that is just fine we gosh we killed it today um we're on a roll we're gonna keep doing we're gonna do one more thing guys we're gonna do one more thing. We're we're killing it today. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good. We got the excitement of the talk show announcement going today. We had all kinds of fun stuff. Let's keep the magic rolling today, guys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the hype going. I'm feeling feeling lucky. Feeling some fire out of this tin. Ooh. Do we cool down? Should we have stopped while we were ahead? Let's find out here. Said I'm, I, this has been fun, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. We can do this last Hidden Fates 10 of the opening for you guys. We got a Fire Energy. We had Jinx, Graveler, Farfetched, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris. We got Psyduck. We got Reverse Snorlax and a Brox training. Maybe we should have stopped while we were ahead. We shall see here. We have three packs left in this 10, but... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, lots of fun stuff happening on this channel. Uh, like, lots of big plans. Like I said, we got the talk show coming. We got, uh, I have like a ton of three-pack Unbroken Bonds blisters coming to me. Um, so we have a big, like similar to this, only bigger of an Unbroken Bonds opening uh, soon. The factory that they're actually at got shut down because they had a uh, case of the pandemic, which you're apparently not supposed to say on YouTube. Um, Hiker Full Art, there we go. That's a Shiny Vault Full Art trainer right there. And a Vaporeon, so there we go. We got a nice Full Art Hiker, a very, very nice pool. Uh, it invades, I'll gladly, gladly take that. I enjoy the Hiker card. Very cool. Put that next to our secret rare escape rope there. So nice pull there out of this 10. Not bad, not bad. Can we get some more fire though? We're going to save the Charizard pack for last. We're going to save the Charizard pack. Save the shiny, shiny pack for the end. Let's see here. We got the birds here. Said, can we get some more fire out of this? We already pulled the hiker. Can we get something else? We do still need that golden Tapu Koko. Last week, we pulled the uh, Espeon. We are still missing that Golden Tabu Coco is the very, very last card for us to pull out of Hidden Fates. Jigglypuff, Eevee. We had a Reverse Psyduck and a Charizard GX. Very nice. Not the Charizard we want, but a very nice Charizard GX. A little off-centered left to right. And that is just fine. We do get a nice Charizard GX there. I will take that to go with our Hiker Full Art. So even if there is nothing in this last pack, this was a good 10 to end on. Man, the hits today. You guys can kind of see all the hits. We've killed this opening today, guys. TCG Army is coming in strong today. All right, can we get some hashtag last pack magic? Can we get some last pack magic here out of the Charizard pack? Whatever it is, it's looking good. If we have a shiny four in this pack, unlikely since we have two hits already, but possible. It does look good. Let's see here. We got a Magmar, Brock's Grit, Psyduck. We got a Pikachu, a Magikarp, Coughing. We got Clefairy. This should be the shiny. Ah, just a Charmander, unfortunate, and a Kangaskhan. So nothing too crazy out of that last pack. But man, did we get some hits today. You can kind of see them all. I won't go through everything like we normally do. You can kind of see them all spread out here. I said the escape rope and the hiker, the two bigs. Then we killed the ultra rare pools today. So not bad whatsoever. What a fun opening. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I had fun today. So, uh, yeah, lots of exciting stuff to be uh, get ready for, guys. said, I'm going to keep driving home the podcast slash talk show. I'll decide what we officially want to label it. But uh, that'll be with the bearded trainer. Um, it's going to be really exciting. I'm excited. 
excited to bring that guys uh, bring that to you guys. I hope I get a lot of questions about the hobby and collecting and stuff so i would love to i hope this will be a way for both of us to kind of try to share knowledge with people um i love watching stuff like that like i love watching um people talk about the hobby and stuff it's very just cool and informative i love that stuff so i would like to share that with you guys as well so let me know if you're excited about that in the comments below if you have any crazy opening or openings if you have any crazy name ideas um relative to the hobby like we've thrown around several different ideas if you have any awesome names let us know in the comments below maybe we'll use one of your names um but yeah guys i'm excited uh for the future of the channel i hope you guys are too make sure you hit that subscribe button that thumbs up down below and i will catch you guys on the next video later